<laughs> Thank you, and folks, it's now time for our zoo segment with the folks from Gladys Porter Zoo, and of course, we have Charlie here today. And today, we're talking about this amazing animal cracker. Yes. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> you can buy this animal is, crackers at the zoo. Yeah, That's you can, you right? Uh, actually, you brought an awesome chinchilla today, and this animal cracker is actually some food. I know. I said last week that I wasn't going to bring anything scary, and yeah. a little change of pace, bringing something nice and fluffy. And um, believe it or not, mm. it's uh, it's not a rabbit. People always get confused that it that it looks like a rabbit, but no, it's actually in the rodent family. So it's it's um, in the same family as uh, uh, a mouse or a rat um, yeah. in that sense. But um, he well, uh, usually hey, wow. yeah, he loves the, the little treats you got him over there. Not that much, maybe. <laughs> but in, in the in naturally at the zoo, we feed him um, like different a combination of different fruits or vegetables mm -hmm. and seeds. Mm -hmm. um, seeds are a little treat for them, and that they do like peanuts. But since they are a little bit um, high in fat, we have to kind of regulate how much they eat that. But the little animal cookie, even though it's not a part of his diet, it's a little good it's snack. It's a cheat day today. It's a cheat day, yes. But, but I have to say, like, the chinchilla itself, it's so, so soft, like the fur. Yeah, and, and um, they actually um, are considered to have one of the softest fur of any other animal in the world. Mm -hmm. um, but, uh, the chinchilla, um, they're naturally, they're found in the Andes Mountains range in, in South America, mm -hmm. but they're virtually extinct in the wild because of hunting. Wow. Um, there's plenty of chinchillas out in captivity, and we have... Um, two sections in the zoo that where we have these little uh, these little guys. Um, he's actually a male. He may be about five ish or so. Yeah. And um, he's a father because there's a little baby there at the zoo as well. But wow. I couldn't bring that because they're real skittish. They can't be away from their mom when they're so young. Sure. Yeah. So, um, but they're. Uh, um, I kid you not, they're really cute. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Um, now, uh, you always have a lot of great things that are happening down there at the zoo. Coming up, you've got... Yeah, our Kids Appreciation Day, So, which is actually a very exciting event that you have for the whole family. Mm -hmm. um, the first thousand kids is going to be August uh, 6th, which is in a few weeks. Okay. And and um, the first thousand kids that get there get a really a coolly cool backpack, um, courtesy of HEB, with a bunch of school supplies. Yeah. So it's a really good um, um, help because we get, well, if you come to the event you'll get like at least half your school supplies that you need. I think I'm too old to go. But yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll save you a little backpack. <laughs> Perfect. Thank you. So that's great. So you get like pretty much all your school supplies mm -hmm. and a backpack, everything you're ready to go. Yeah, it's a good deal. And, then, and, and also um, like uh, other sponsors like Metro PCS are actually building little backpacks for us with a lot of school supplies and they're actually getting some of the lists mm -hmm. and um, you're going to be able to get coupons to get your kid in for free. Um, starting um, tomorrow, actually, at oh, uh, a Metro PCS location, Brownsville, and all the HEBs in Brownsville. Oh, excellent. So you have to go down to Brownsville to get those coupons. Yeah, you get the coupons, and you can um, get a, a child. It's a child coupon, so they can get in for free. And, of course, if you're a Zoom member, yeah. the whole event is free for you. Oh, that is awesome. And uh, finishing up the summer months, what do you have coming up after that? Uh, so we have a lot of uh, different events and enrichment. I'm going to see if he wants to take a shower in his little... Oh, yeah. So they take a bath in their chinchilla dust. It's oh. not the cutest little container. I'm sorry, but... That is a first-class bathroom. To see there, and they um, there's actually sand in there, so they'll roll around and he'll clean his fur in there. Oh, so cool! He's like, hey, it's a recycled animal cracker <laughs> container. <laughs> it's a really, yeah. oh, wow. We recycle there at the zoo. We can't just throw plastic away. So. Yeah, absolutely. Well, that's kind of cool that they do that. That's how they're able to clean themselves. Yeah. But uh, again, after the summer, you've got a lot of great things that are happening. Yeah, we too. have um, every Thursday through Sunday, we have um, um, animal experiences. We have some um, students doing presentations here at the zoo. Mm -hmm. Of course, we have the stingray feeding that yes. you can go um, on on, uh, on weekends, and we have the giraffe feeding. So it's a really great experience. And of course, if you're a zoo member, mm -hmm. um, everything uh, to get into the zoo is free, and you get, um, we, and it's, we're heading up our busy season within yes. the fall. So it's going to be. Uh, uh, our uh, zoo, a booth the zoo, and then Zoo Nights and Nights coming up yeah. in the future. But um, there's a lot of great events, so we have a lot of a lot of coming up. A lot uh, of this awesome year. things happening down there at Gladys Port Zoo. Charlie, always great to see you. Thank you so much for bringing the chinchilla. I really appreciate it. Not the snake, folks. We got some more information <laughs> there posted on your screen. Give the folks at Gladys Porter Zoo a call. Their number 956-546-7187. Folks, don't go anywhere. Channel Five News at noon. We'll be right back.